Rajdeep, let me begin with you, which I was quoting. You know, a fellow colleague of ours who said it very aptly. The Congress needs to fight this election as a regional party. The BJP needs to fight this election as a national party. And the JDS needs to fight this election as the party of the Gaudas. Agree? Yes, particularly the first two. Uh, I'm not sure about the JDS fighting it just as a party of the Gaudas. Uh, but certainly, I believe the BJP is going to have to use the Narendra Modi factor. Because so interestingly in Karnataka, Look at what happened in the 2019 Lok Sabha election compared to 2018 Vidhan Sabha. 2018 BJP was party number one but there was a hung assembly. 2019, just 9 months, 10 months later, the BJP won 26 out of 28 seats. So clearly the BJP was able to use the Narendra Modi factor and make it in a way a national election. The Congress on the other hand will believe that the caste arithmetic of Karnataka, the way it's playing out this time, could work in its favor. Malikarjun Kharge, national president, Dalit from Karnataka, Sidharamaya has traditionally attempted to carve out a backward caste alliance strong among Muslim community and you've got a vocal legal leader in DK Shiv Kumar and a number of other local leaders like MB Patil and others who will who have their own appeal in different regions. So the Congress, as you rightly said, will hope to localize it and play caste arithmetic. And then you've got the JDS. Now, is the JDS a party of the Gaudas, they wouldn't have won 37 seats last time as just a party of the Gaudas. They are a party which tries to appeal to a strong regional sentiment, mm -hmm. sub-regional, mainly in uh, southern Karnataka. Now, I think the BJP's best bet, ironically, uh, Preeti, is for uh, uh, Kumaraswamy and the JDS to repeat what they did last time, win 37 mm -hmm. seats. That makes it a potential hung assembly. And Karnataka, fascinatingly, is the one state where of the last five elections, three of them have thrown up hung assemblies. So there aren't too Since many... Since 2004. Tri you look at 2004, you look yes. at 2008, and you look at 2018. All of three threw up hung assemblies. Right. So you've got a state which is very competitive, Partly because Karnataka is a mirror crack. You can move from north to south Karnataka right. and the politics changes dramatically. So it will be fascinating to see how those local factors play out vis-a-vis -vis this national True. narrative of Rahul Gandhi versus Narendra Modi. Well, you know, uh, you're bang on. You threw some numbers there and for somebody who, you know, loves numbers and has an elephant's memory is our uh, national affairs uh, by our editor, uh, Rahul Srivastava, who's joining us live. Rahul, 2004. Hung Assembly, where Karnataka was concerned, the JDS would definitely be wanting to expect that be the king maker or through it be the king as well. They've done it before. But since 1985, it's also a state which has never quite repeated the same government. Yeah, you yeah. repeated yeah. the same government. Now, this is what Mr. Shastri was saying in the afternoon. And I think, I think what we should, uh, what I, you, you have a lot of templates which are very good. There is one which I, uh, which I have a slight doubt about. This is one election where the BJP will have to fight even as a regional party, even with the state level, because this is one state where it is not totally dependent on the BJP factor or the Modi factor. There is a Yadurappa factor. And that Yadurappa makes the election as local for the BJP right. as anybody else, uh, as the Congress. I think it's, a, it's an amazing election. See, very rarely it happens that the election dates are announced and you've got one senior leader of one party throwing videos of him throwing uh, currency uh, notes from a ban and you've got another leader who says that I'll contest two seats and the trading of charges begins instantly. It's a critical election for the BJP because Karnataka is toehold into south, the only state which tells BJP or tells everybody that BJP right. is perhaps a pan-Indian party even in South India. The second element for the BJP, all its strength for the last few years in uh, Karnataka and other states, uh, be it Yadurappa, the Lingayat vote, uh, good governance, corruption, and strong anti-corruption image, all those stands are going to get tested because that's where the BJP seems weak today. For the Congress and the opposition, what an election. First big state of 2023, ahead of 2024, mm -hmm. there is so much of chatter about opposition coming together. So the Congress has to prove it can take smaller parties with itself and smaller parties have to show that they can actually coexist with Congress and right. perhaps create an ecosystem in which BJP can be defeated.